you guys that want to boil your hardtack or eat it dry, go for it. Mmm. Man, that's good. I was a little surprised to find out that uh, hardtack is one of the most searched items on my website. It's uh, turned out to be one of the most pro popular articles and videos I have. So uh, I posted that back in February of 2012, and here we are about 10 months later. It really is hard as a brick. This sat out for several months right over here on the breadboard. It's been exposed to oxygen for several months, so it's probably going to have some kind of a stale taste. So we're going to doctor it up and try to make it palatable. It's still going to have a lot of nutritional value because it was made with whole wheat flour. I had a couple of comments uh, from people about the fact that it's not nutritious to cook things in butter. You know, it's exactly right. In a survival situation, you want to avoid fats at all costs. It's going to be a really good opportunity for you to try to lose some weight and uh, get that slender, youthful figure back uh, that you were missing. So you're going to hope for doomsday and then avoid all fats at all costs. So I've got some alternatives here for you. Uh, one of them is you can use lard instead of butter. And lard is simply rendered pork fat. Okay, and what I have here is some uh, beef grease left over from uh, when I made the beef jerky and I took the sirloin trimmings off. I trimmed off most of the fat. So I'm going to take this and make a gravy out of it so we can cut down on our fat intake a little bit. Uh, because as I say, the most important thing you want to do in a survival situation is avoid fats. So, first thing we're going to do is put this in the pot and uh, melt it on the fire and then add some broth to it and uh, boil these in it and then we'll thicken it at the end with some flour and cornstarch and season it up, maybe some black pepper. If I go ahead and thicken the gravy with the flour and cornstarch before I boil it, I'm afraid it will stick and then burn on the bottom. So we're going to cook it first and then thicken it later. What we have here is about an inch thick of grease with some chunks of beef fat, just a few pieces, shreds of meat, and uh, the rest of it is water in the bottom. And I'm going to add about another maybe three-quarter cup of water because I think most of that is going to boil off while we're cooking the hardtack. So I'm just going to drop these pieces in there and then add a little more water, okay? So here they go. Here's the bread. Oops. There we go. Coat it. Wow. I can't explain how this smells. Uh, I just say it's fantastic. Uh, this is hardcore hardtack. You can easily cook this hardtack probably an hour, maybe more. Man, that is fantastic. The gravy really makes it, but the fact that it has some texture, that it was made out of whole grain wheat and has kind of a nutty flavor and consistency to it, makes it really satisfying, pleasant to eat. It's going to be great for morale and it's really going to stick to your bones. Man. That is not just survival food. That is stupendous. Of course, this is going to clog your arteries, give you a heart attack, raise your blood pressure, and because of the pepper, it's probably going to ruin your prostate. So you guys, stay away from this, okay? You need to eat your heart attack dry or just boil it plain in water. I'll be eating this. Mm. 
See you at the blog.